One of my favorite comments from someone who saw our show uh, in South Carolina and uploaded a video on YouTube said, if you're within 400 miles of this team's performing area, you need to get in your car and go see them do their thing. And his comment was speaking to the fact that what we do is so unique and so different than what you typically see at an air show. Whether you're talking about military demonstration teams or you're talking about civilian acts, you're talking about airplanes doing the same kinds of maneuvers, only this time it's a blue airplane versus a red airplane. We come online with these four black AH-1F Cobras screaming down the show line, and from our first maneuver until the end, the crowd is awestruck. First of all, there's not another military helicopter demonstration team out there on the air show circuit, period, in our country. So it's unique, it's the only one out there. It's a low altitude program, uh, it is high attraction to, to the audience, and they like it because it is literally in their face at all times. And being low altitude, that's another attraction to the organizer. We can perform in virtually any weather, and we can fly as low as ceilings at 800 feet and light rain, where everyone else has to be on the ground. So frankly, air shows can look at us as rain insurance also. The other thing that I think our team brings to an air show that's incredibly important is the fact that we're ever present. We rarely leave the aircraft. We always have one on static display that the air show attendees can come up and take a close look at. And we will stand there and answer any questions that they have. And frankly, we stand there all day. We love our aircraft. We love flying our aircraft. And we love telling people about it. That's what we like. We like to interact with our audience on a one-to-one -one because we get such a positive reaction back from them. And they, they really love asking you questions. Then as you walk through the crowd and you ask them if they're ready for an air show, and, and then afterwards, oh my God. <laughs> uh, we typically will move the crowd away from the aircraft about 45 minutes before our show time, and then we will maneuver the aircraft out to the uh, ramp where we need to start it up and start the air show event. I have found through the years with our flying and with what we do that when you tell someone at an air show, sorry, I've got to go, we've got our pre-show briefings and I've got to get ready to fly, they are awed by that because it's something they're not accustomed to. They typically see military demonstration teams uh, show up, get in their aircraft, do their air show, and then leave. We stay with them all day and it's an opportunity for us and an opportunity for them because it's, it's, a, it's as special for us as it is for the air show attendees. We meet a lot of interesting people. It is absolutely a unique product. There is no other program out there that is operated by veterans volunteering their time to give back. I served in Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm in 1991. I spent uh, 21 years in the service. I've been able to fly the Cobra helicopter for almost 40 years. We have very strong media coverage and that relates to big dollars in payback from advertising equivalents and media. In 2007, we were sponsored by the United States Army, and we set records that are well documented by the Army's advertising agency, independent of us, and the success our program had and the value it had to the Army uh, in media coverage and advertising value and success in accomplishing the goals the Army set for the program. So if there is a sponsor, that wants to find a cost-effective way to cover a lot of turf and getting his message out with strong branding, this is the program to do it. When they book the Sky Soldiers demonstration team and we come rolling in with our four black Cobras, everybody in the area, including the local townships, the local newspapers, the local television stations, everybody comes out to see this aircraft. So if, as a sponsor, if you can imagine a flying billboard traveling 600 miles cross country, low level, everybody on the interstate, everybody on country roads looking up and seeing your logo displayed on one of the, the country's first attack helicopters. It's an incredible opportunity for a rolling billboard for your organization. So our event's not only patriotic, it's thrilling. It's thrilling for us as pilots to be able to fly it, but based on the feedback we've seen and heard, it's also thrilling for the air show attendee themselves.